Hello again, everyone, and welcome to my channel. This is Perfection Art by Tracy, and I'm Tracy. So, in my last video, I was playing with the World's Blackest Black and the Amsterdam Pearl Paints. Love the way it turned out, but I want to do, I had all these paints left over and I wasn't done playing. So I want to basically do the same thing, but once again, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, like I said in my last video, and I'll link that, so in case you missed it, you can go back and watch that one. But in that video, I was referring to getting inspiration from Molly, from Molly's artistry. Um, and like I said, I've seen so many other artists. Fiona actually just did a pearl painting this week where she was inspired by Molly. And I've seen Mark Ratcliffe do it. So lots of artists have played with these magical paints and done several different techniques. What I did in my last video is I put that blackest black down as my base and instead of puddling my pearl paints just sporadically, I kind of went in a straight line with each color and then I wrecked it. Two things that I learned with that one. One, I lost a lot of my color, of course, the ones that were on the edges because of tilting. And two, I think I wrecked it too much. Um, I wish I had stopped halfway through. Um, I'm not going to use the black as black this time. I went ahead and made up another a big batch of just the Artist Loft Flow. This is a, an old bottle. I don't even know what year this one is. I don't see it on there, but I'm sure it's 2018, 2019 that I've had for a while. So um, everything else is the same as far as consistency. My pouring medium is 75% Floetrol, 25% golden um, regular gloss gel and then water so paints are hmm, so hard to tell i have to show you as kind of white or black and neither one of those show up really good but hopefully y'all can see a little bit definitely leaves a mound but it quickly goes away so probably a two and a half three second mound so still pretty good and thick and then the other thing that I'm doing this time is I want to add some of the Amsterdam actual pearl white. So I just thought it would be fun at the last minute just to kind of drizzle some white in there just to brighten it up. Even though when you do this and you have that black base and you puddle all of these, it, it wet, it looks like just a black and white polka dot painting. But as you've seen, when they dry is when the magic comes out. And as beautiful as the colors are and as vibrant as they are, they're dark. So I just thought maybe drizzling a little bit of the white in there would just brighten it up a little bit. Still doing the same colors that I had before, the red, the blue, the violet, and the yellow. So this time I'm going to do maybe smaller puddles going vertical. And if I can wing, swing it, maybe I'll get two rows of each color. And that way as I wreck it and tilt, I'll at least get some of all the colors. Hope that makes sense. If not, just stick around in the video and watch. And as I'm doing it, hopefully then it will make sense. I think I'm still going to use my smack stick to wreck it. Um, like I said, last time I used a couple of different tools and it just, I don't know, it was just a little bit too much. So I'm going to keep it at a minimal, minimum this time. So make sure you stick around. I'll show you dry results in the end and I'll come back and chat and talk about our you know, final thoughts on that. And again, I am going to use another uh, 15 by 30 gallery wrap canvas. So same size. And I think that's it. Other than asking you guys to take a second to subscribe to my channel. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. 
leave me a comment let me know have you played with these pearl um, Amsterdam pearl paints and if so like what was your favorite technique that you did that made them show up the most vibrant so stick around listen to the music watch the magic happen and I'll check back in with you guys in just a few minutes colors um, are so vibrant because I totally forgot to give the um, wet results but <laughs> you can see where it's already started drying around the edge but anyway um, let me take you in funny thing is 
not a lot of the white showed up and where it did it's kind of great but I like that so this one is the same but very different um, from the first one and as y'all noticed in the video I had just just done very minimal um, wrecking with my smack stick and then kept second guessing and went back like that looks like a dolphin the first one uh, had an elephant that one looks like a dolphin um so i kept second guessing should i do it one more and i did and i'm glad i did i think it would have been perfectly fine if i had just left it well enough alone but i had so much paint on this canvas that um, I had to tilt so much off that I lost a lot of the uh, the wrecking design so I don't think it really would have mattered either way but once again I'm just blown away and amazed with these paints I love them I, I, I keep thinking of other things I want to do with them because I still have some of them left and I'm definitely not gonna let them go to waste Weird thing is, I don't see, I think this may be the red. That's got to be the red. I think I did the red in the middle. So, I will please stick around for the total dry results. And let's see if this turns out to be red. Um, so, if that's blue and then yellow and violet, that has to be red. And I can see it. Where am I? right there a little bit on the edge where it's starting to dry so that's going to be pretty cool that right up through the middle is going to be the red i think it's just super cool very abstract for sure but anyway stick around for dry results i will not forget to give those to you <laughs> all right here are the dry results oh my goodness i think it is gorgeous i love it like i said um you know i had just done the other one and i had my paints going where's my finger horizontal and i feel like i lost a lot of my colors um and this time i did them vertical and did two rows um, i lost one row of the red but i love the fact that that red is right in the middle so let me take you in and show you. And I'm glad, look how it just, look at that. Ah, oh, can you see that just shine on there? Oh, it's just gorgeous. And I'm glad I added the white, even though it kind of went a little gray looking, mixing with that black, I, I like it. I like the little pops of color. And if you'll remember in my last one, um, had a little elephant. This one, look, it looks like a little dolphin. <laughs> I guess my magic paints like creating little animals. Look at that, watch that. Do you see how that gold just, sh or the yellow just shines? Oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty, I love it. So anyway, I think it turned out gorgeous. I want to say, I started to say I really, really do love the first one, but I don't know. I think I like this one even more because there, there is more color. I didn't lose my color as much as I did in the first one, but I still love the first one just because of that little elephant guy. But if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. It's the video before this one, but let me know again, your thoughts. I still have some pearl paints left, so I hope you guys aren't crazy bored with... Anyway, I'm babbling at this point, as usual, but thank you guys so, so much for joining me. This is such a fun little project. If you haven't played with these paints, I highly recommend doing it because it is just so much fun. It's so exciting. Like, you pour, you know, one day or one night, and then you get to run in your studio the next day, and it's totally different looking painting. So, highly recommend doing it. Let me know. Have you played with them? Look, I just saw a horse. Can y'all see that? Like, this is his mane, and he's like reared up. That's his head. 
hips, front hooves. <laughs> Tell me what else do you see in this painting? So anyway, I keep getting off subject. I'm going to end this. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Do you like the first one? Do you like this one? Have you played with these paints? Thank you guys again for being here. I would love it if you took a second, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. So, but as always, until next time, bye friends. Oh, you think that I'm strong.